Calvin Castine at the old base gymnasium, now known as the YMCA on Ovo gym. We're here for the, I think they call it the YMCA League uh, men's championship game. According to what we've read in the Press Republican, the Bible of uh, sports in the North Country, the Cast Iron Properties team is two-time defending champions. They're making their third straight visit here. And their opponents are coming across in my viewer as a blue shirt, but they are purple shirts. Uh, so I'm not sure what they're going to look like on your screen. But on my screen, they look blue, but in real life, they're purple. There are big girls, don't kawaii. No idea what kawaii is. K-A-H-W-I, I think, is uh, yeah, kawaii. Big girls don't kawaii, so whatever that is, that's who they are. We'll call them big girls. So it's uh, defending champions. We'll give you all the numbers that we have here. Connor Christofferson, 0, J.B. Davison, 1, Matt Probotko, 3, Mike Kastein, 7, Andrew Kastein, 14, Tom Shaver is 21, Christopher Kastein, 23, Randy Senecal, 43, Josh Sand, 42, Nate Parliament, 83, Gary Kastein, 169, and Craig Bujo, we can give us a number for him. For the big girls team, Mike Race is 0, Hunter King is 1, Harvey Merrill is two, Jackson Hooper is three, uh, Cooper Allen is four, Max Feliska is, uh, is five, uh, him who just got fouled there, I guess. Uh, Cole Gay, eight, Joe Pelkey, 11, Brendan Farney, 20, Trevor Harris, 21, Caden Williams, 23, Logan Rodriguez, 24, and Man Manny Frechette is 44. So fouls on the floor, and it's 20-minute halves. And the clock keeps running, so it's like running time. We have three officials here. Hopefully none of them will stand in front of the camera. It's been a while since I've been in this gymnasium. Uh, off the window. Oh, yeah, it's the window. Velasca. Had a uh, you know, window, but that light comes through on that one. That was Davison making that drive unsuccessfully. It's a three point attempt. Rebounded by Christofferson. like Chris Castine hitting a three bagger. So he puts his team up three to two. Sounds like a lot of new new sneakers out there. A lot of squeaking going on. Davison brings it down. More familiar with the Castine Properties team than I am with the purple team. Let's go over to his brother Chris and he bangs that one in. Didn't call the bank shot though. I don't know if that should count, but it will. 6 2. 6 2 now. Mike will probably want an assist on that one. Block by Mike Castine. That was pass from Christofferson. Uh, Talking with Randy Seneca before the game, he said Matt Farbatko, who's out with an injury, is uh, here tonight. He's going to attempt to play and help out the cause. And he said he's been the MVP the last couple of years, so he's a big player to get in here. Castine with the rebound. Davison up to Castine. Looks like Andrew Castine. From Castine Properties. We'll make it eight, no, nine to two, all three pointers. All the Castine Properties points have come from beyond the arc. 
So last time we were here, there were bleachers uh, where the windows are, in front of the windows. They've changed the configuration. Shot is missed. And it goes out of bounds. Uh, change the configuration here so they got the baskets going uh, left to right here. And uh, looks like they have at least three lanes here. Here we go, 23. That's Williams, Caden Williams hitting. Makes it now 9-4, long two-pointer. We had no anticipation of being here. Thursday nights are the concerts in the... in the park, or actually the Friends of the Stage, Samuel D. Champlain stage. They have concerts in Rouse's Point every Thursday. And tonight, as another three-pointer, that's Davidson. Uh, the 12-4, a live and die with the trade. Jamie Davidson pops it in. Five trays, 15 to four. We're gonna have a timeout for probably the uh, big girls squad. They're down by 11 with 13, 25 to go as we're about to say. We uh, had no intention of, uh, of being here. Uh, Normally on Thursday, we're at those Rouse's Point concerts. Tonight was supposed to be the closing concert, and it was supposed to be at the American Legion in Rouse's Point. And the band was a very popular five o'clock somewhere that was supposed to be playing. Then uh, early last week, uh, we got word that the bass player, Mel DeRocha, had, uh, had died suddenly. And uh, that has put the band out of commission, as you can might as well imagine. So, sudden uh, departure of uh, Mel De Rocher has uh, caused the end to the uh, summer series in Rouse's Point, but more importantly, a loss of a very nice guy. So, our, our thoughts to his band members, but particularly to his family. Surprising news, he wasn't all that old. Harris will inbound. Top of the arc, in and out. Davison with the board. I have to admit, we're getting a little trouble following the action here with the uh, Lights coming through that the windows there. The setting sun. Uh, obviously the west facing windows. And we got a whistle. Big crowd here, big crowd, lots of Lots of basketball fans, family members are showing up to cheer on the team. What's it going to do? Have a first foul shot of the game. Whoop, I'm, I'm looking around and the camera's zooming on me here. Uh, Falaska. Falaska's at the line. So, I do that at least once a game. Uh, <laughs> keep my trigger finger on the zoom while I'm looking around, not paying attention to the to the screen by trademark. That makes it 15-7 uh, or 6, 15-6, you had them both. So that's 15-4. And a layup, what do you know? So Davison. Over the back. Over the back. The uh, properties has 
think 12 players on the roster, only see four on the bench, including the two old guys, Seneca and Gary Castein. There's Chris Castein scoring the bucket, and there's Pat. Uh, Randy Seneca, how old is he? Well, he was the first star at Clinton Community College. Well, that's how old he is. First star at Clinton. That was, I believe, Rodriguez, Logan Rodriguez. I get 19 to 9. 11.27 to go. A lot of game left. Another whistle. wander my camera a little bit to the right here to cut down our angle on the uh, windows. Not much I can do about it though. So this is uh, Williams at the line. Sub in. Shaver. Tom Shaver in. 21 and we get another guy in here. There's a guy over that way. Castle Castle properties could only afford numbers on the back of the shirt. Kravatko is in. And uh, Christopherson. Well, the clock keeps ticking, which I like. We'll probably stop it in the last two minutes of the game. 19-11, the year Luella Pepin was born. clock unless, unless it's there. Maybe that's it. Nope, that's foul. Whoa. Stolen. And laid in by Fabatko, I think. Like a 21-11. And it might have been Farney. Might have been Farney who did that one. The block up and down. So I'm not noticing the shot clock and uh, knowing these guys. Uh, <laughs> My guess is they wouldn't need a shot clock. Oh, it's a foul, so Fabat goes out the line. Both teams with three fouls now. Twenty-two fourteen. Clock is stopped for foul shots. Twenty-three. Back to a nine-point lead for Castine Properties. Almost stolen away by Christopherson. Yeah. 
stolen away. I think it was Davison with the steal. Kastein brings it up. Back to Davison, he hands off to Fabatko. So good teamwork there, passing the ball. Getting the shot off. 8.45 left in the first half. 25-14 the score. Now 26 to 14, so 40 points have been scored. And I think uh, about 65% of them have been scored by Castine Properties at this point in time. Somewhere around that. I don't have my calculator with me here. But, uh, 26 and 14 sounds like 65% to me. Stolen. Andrew Castine up to Davison. Back to Drew. Air ball. <laughs> He's proud of that one too. On the floor, there's a go. Slippery spot on the floor. There. Under eight to go in the half. Over the back. Over the back on 21 Harris. Bring it up. Temperature 85 degrees. When we we're driving down here. I don't know. I didn't notice what it was at game time, but 85 degrees just prior to game time. Just a little bit on the muggy side, not overly uh, sticky like it has been in the not too distant past, but a little bit on the sticky side and some of that Canadian smoke in the air too. So. We gotta put up with him more out there. Rocco is fouled. Three officials. Mike Castine. Rocco to Davison. Another three. Bagger for Jamie Davison. Six and a half to go in the first half. Uh, I see a whole bunch of trophies here. So I would assume that when the game is done, the, the trophy presentations for the season will be presented. I'm sure that's a reason some of the people are here. Three, that's the Hooper. No, two, he's two, that's uh, Merrill. Merrill from the, from the elbow. Uh, Davison up to Andrew Castine. Yeah, Davison hits the air ball. So take that, Drew. You're not the only one who can hit the air ball. Both teams substitute. Gary Kastine seems to be calling the shots on the Kastine property side. And I was told that Frechette, Manny Frechette, was the coach for the big girls team.
the defense and Davison over to uh, Saber and, and offensive foul and for Botko. Nope, not an offensive foul. Thought from the reaction that it was, but it's got an established position. And uh, we have no opinion on it because <laughs> we got too many windows in the picture here to have an opinion on it. Rocco hits the first, so both teams, uh, no, I think it's 6 5 now. The girls have six fouls and cast iron properties five. 16 for the big girls, 30. For the cast iron properties, they make it 31. 15 point lead with five minutes to go here in the opening period. Elbow, nope. Christopherson, Davison up to Saber. In and out by Davison, rebound. Uh, 11, Pelkey. Nope, yes it was Pelkey. But the cast nine folks take it away. Air ball comes for Botko. He joins the air ball club. Mike, Mike Castine's going to come in as Botko limps off. That was now 7 5 in the foul category. Davison at the line. Shooting one, he's waiting for his second shot. 34-16. Must have made the basket, I guess. Four minutes to go. Men's championship game. And Shaver watches it go out. And then make a ill attempt to uh, to save it and have it go off his fingers. I don't know if Andrew Castine's calling the shots now or not. He's the owner of Castine Properties, so he might be. Who knows? I didn't die. Turnover. Give it back to the big girls. 321 to go. 34. 16, that's 50 points. I know that one, 68% has been scored by the Castine Properties Club. Air ball. Whoa, nice attempt. Look out. Get it back. Short. There's an air ball. A short air ball. Glass. Stopperson rebound. 2.37 left in the half. What we got? Oh, extra. Uh oh. <laughs> Some kids playing ball over here and a ball. Bounced onto the floor. Well, Andrew Castine back in. Nice reverse by Chris Castine, Christopher Castine. 20 point lead now, and off the front of the rim. 
Next one is a, a long air ball. Pass sign up to Davidson. Two minutes to go. Two minutes left in the half. I believe was Rodriguez. Testine Properties, timeout. We have 141 on the clock. 36-18, the Properties folks uh, doubling the score here on uh, the Big Girls Don't Kawaii team. And uh, as we said at the start, they are looking to three-peat. Have won two titles in a row. They're looking to make it three now, and uh, each victory is again against a again, then against a different team. And those trophies we were talking about are in the back over there, so there's quite a few of them. So I have the feeling we're going to be here a while after the <laughs> after the game is over. So. So uh, this is, I believe, the called the YMCA Men's League. It's here at the YMCA on the Oval. We used to know as the Old Base Gym on the U.S. Oval at the former place, Plattsburgh Air Force Base. And of course, uh, there is or was, I don't know if there still is, a, a gym on the new base. Or the, uh, YMCA will be having a lot of stuff going on. I'm assuming they kept the gym there, but do not know that for certain. So Andrew Castine will inbound to Davison. And the clock ticking down to 136 in the first half. So did not go in. This officer tries again, getting the pass from Fabatko. 38-18, 20 point lead. Off the rim. Rebound Christofferson. Fabatko, nope, short. And... And the basket by Williams. Under a minute to go, 38-20, 47 seconds left in the half. <laughs> Purple ball, 32 seconds, clock stops. Couple minutes. <laughs> Property takes it away. <laughs> Ten seconds. be as close as the buzzer beaters will get there. Davidson hits. Oh, that was almost a buzzer beater. Well, 41 to 20 at the half. Castine Properties looking for the third straight title. <coughs> Have the big lead here at the end of the first half on viewer supported hometown cable. Oh, I was wrong. Not 20 minutes running time. They've got 18 minutes on the clock. 18 minutes running time here for the uh, men's league. Second half is underway. To write down the score. 41 20.
definitely a foul on Mike Kastein. Now a foul on Davison. The clock keeps second. by Mike Cassine, gives it to Chris, up to Andrew. Where's Craig when you need him, huh? Katie's here. Whoa! Big girl's ball. Clean up crew. Mopping up the sweat off the floor. August 15th, 2024 is the date. Feast to the Assumption. Taking away. 40 and nothing is oh 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 no an injury here oh right in the face Mike Castine is down he's hitting the face and the eye this does not look good ow ow this is did not see what happened wow did, did not see what happened he's holding this above his his left eye hopefully it's above the eye and not in the eye He may have got a finger in the eye, I'm not sure. 1535, 30 in the second half. 4122 the score now. Shot. Nice rebound, but the Sofferson can get it to follow. Big girl's ball. It is good by Harris. Trevor Harris. Tobacco rebounds and he's fouled. The basket will count. a very dangerous place to have an injury. The girls keep it. Off the uh, Castine properties. 14-12, second quarter, 44-24, 20 point lead for the defending champions, blocked and a foul or a clean block, clean block. Trying to scrape the, the perspiration off the floor. And 
properties, takes it away. Lobotko for three. Christopherson. Off him, apparently. Thirteen twenty-two and counting. <laughs> Basket by Veloska. Bounce pass to Probatko and he's fouled. Be 12 fouls on them. I don't know. I don't know. 2 2. It doesn't seem like each team has only two fouls here. Mopping the floor. Cleaning the floor. You know, you think they could do that after the game here, huh? <laughs> but no, they got perspiration sweat on the floor, so they got to get it off before somebody does a face plant. like sliding down the court and suddenly hitting a, a wet floor to slow your progress or change your progress. It's like Randy Santacle's going live on the World Wide Web here. Clock stopped at 13.02. And Fabaco hits the second. So it's Davison pushes it up for Fabatko and lays it in. Forty-seven twenty-six. Twelve forty-five to go. A spin move by Flaska. Cast on properties like to move the ball around. Find the open man. And we have a foul on the rebound as uh, Harris gets the board and gets fouled. Fifty-three on the clock. Forty-seven, twenty-eight. Yes, there are fans here. Those are known as basketball fans right there. If you've never seen a basketball fan, that's what they look like. What's the problem here? What is the hole up? I don't know, but we're gonna finally get the shot off here, I hope. It's 
them both. Christofferson, Jennifer Davison. Picked off by Chris Castine. Gives it to Fabaco, back to Castine. No. And Harris with the rebound. Blocked by Christopherson. Ball not dropping here. For either team. In and out. 47-20 or 10-46. We came in to the half at 41-20 and it's 47-28. So we've gone uh, seven minutes and 18 seconds and haven't scored a lot thus far in the second half. Seen a couple of glimpses of his left eye and uh, looks like it's uh, swollen and, and closed, uh, not able to open it up completely. Well, go back to Davison. Stopperson to Andrew Castine. Underneath, Connor Christopherson. 49 28. And we're about to hit the 10 minute mark. in there but couldn't get it to fall. Saved by Christofferson. Blocked apparently. The funny is Farney. Christofferson with the rebound. 49-30, 8.52 to go. And the clock is stopped. Second attempt, 
A good effort there by uh, Rodriguez. Now we're going to have a foul. Clock is ticking. Seven and a half to go. 49 30, 19 point difference. The girls are going to make a run. They're going to do it soon. Stop, stop at 7 19. Harris to shoot. Tom Shaver. Player's got a fan here. Got a big fan or a little fan. Harris. That's the first one. 52-31. And 32. So it's back to a 20-point difference. Well, it's 6 11 Five thirty-two. Five twenty remains. Rebound, Chris Castine. That's goodbye for Baco. Fifty-seven thirty-two. Subs coming in.
37-32. Not sure if it was Probatko or Andrew Kastein. One of them scored that one. Airbell. Okay with the rebound. Three twenty five to go. Chris Castine thought about the dunk, but he decided not to. made that same decision when I played not to dunk. Rebounded by Hunter King. This is race. Two and a half to go here, 233. The basket's good by King. 61-35, 226 to go. Race who got that rebound. One forty eight left in the game. I'm out. One thirty three to go, sixty one thirty five is the score. Oh, Randy Seneca is now in the game. And Gary Castine is too. The action will definitely speed up now. Can't call it an air ball, it hit the backboard. BB ball. Rebound is Seneca. Uh, doubles his total for the season. Fans were hoping. Back to Seneca. <laughs> oh well. See, even Randy Seneca has days like that. So, see? Don't get discouraged. If the cat can have a day like that, anybody can. Time out for a sub here. Let's see what we got. Uh, no, the clock was up. I didn't notice the clock ran out. The clock ran out. The game is over, 61-35. I was so excited about the game that I, I didn't even uh, keep looking at the clock. Well, those are the people who've been working hard at the scoreboard. So, three-time defending champions now. Our three-time champions will have to come back next year to be defending champions. A uh, pastime properties team defeats the Big Girls Don't Kawaii Club. And I'll stick around, and I'm sure we'll have 
enough awards so that many people will leave here happy, but no participation trophies. You have to have earned your award. Yeah. Looks like some people will be leaving here with new shirts. There's blue ones over here and green ones over there, so I don't know if. Uh, not even going to speculate who gets the shirt there. Not even going to speculate. Like they're handing out green shirts to the winning team. That eye's gonna look good tomorrow. Doesn't look like there's any formal presentation here. Here, just come up and grab your loop. <laughs> grab your trophies and grab your shirts and have a safe flight home. I don't know. I don't know what the heck they're doing here. Nobody's speaking up here. This is uh, rather disorganized here. A little bit, uh, oh, there we go. She's stealing a shirt. She stole a shirt, uh-oh. We get a team picture. Castine Properties Championship Team. I was attempting to talk. I'm going to keep the camera rolling and try to move closer here. It's not very organized. MVP, Jamie Davison. fans on the other side and they're all in here toward the, the players. Trevor Harris, MVP in the quest. Not sure what this guy's grabbing here for his shirt, not sure who he is, what he won. Season, I guess. League. I hope you heard. I didn't. Jordan Martin, Good time. Jordan Martin leading assists. Thank you. 
Over 40 points a game. Davey, I think they said his last name is. Leading rebounder of the Western Conference, Jalen Allen Pirates. Right, you're going to have to rely on what you're hearing because you're hearing the same thing I am, which is absolutely nothing. Apologies to the players. Jamie Rabideau, try to get a good time, rebounder. Came back from an injury. If I could get everybody who got an award to come over here and get a photo for the All right. So that'll, uh, that'll be the, uh, the awards part. <laughs> get a, <laughs> get a loudspeaker of some sort, just a, even a bullhorn or something. All right, that'll wrap it up. Congratulations to Castine Properties, the three-time champions of this men's league here at the old base gymnasium, the YMCA on the old. Thanks for watching and supporting viewer-supported local television, hometown cable TV, worthy of your support.